Hello and welcome back. Okay, in the last video, I hit quite a big milestone in that this was the first time that the core CPU was working without any breadboards. I'm really pleased with that. I actually found a few days ago this little diagram of my kind of block outline of the processor. I think I did this in one of the very early videos and it's held to that pretty well. And there's a couple of bits that are different. I put the clock in the top left hand corner for some reason and I managed to fit it in here. Predominantly because I got away with three pipeline steps and not the four I originally envisaged. The general architecture between having the address registers, the GPRs and the transfer register, although I put it at the top in the diagram, that's all kind of held together. So what I'd like to do in a couple of weeks time is make a video that's a bit of a retrospective about some of the architectural decisions I've made along the way. There's a few things that I've kind of had a question mark over a few times, although very much what I've built here is, is what I designed at the very beginning. So in that retrospective video, I'll talk about a few architectural decisions that uh, I've maybe had a little bit of a question mark over, or at least have things to talk about. But I'd also like to give you an opportunity to ask any questions down in the comments that you'd like to add to that. Because over the course of this project, I've very much appreciated all of the support I've had from people viewing the videos. It's really kept me going. So thanks a lot for that. And I will see you again in a couple of days time with the next actual build video. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.